sorry we're late. This is Maureen Kamari of Amari Baking Center and we are live today on Friday TJF and I'm here with Ellie. Hi guys. So we weren't here last week because we were in Nakuru classes we weren't able to do a live but we're here today and we're sharing really really exciting stuff. So I'm gonna get right into it. By the way I'm holding a class tomorrow for anyone who's interested. We're testing out a class on how to write um, cursive on cake. So if you're interested, inbox, comment on the replay. It's only 500 shillings. So yeah, don't miss out because after this, the price goes up if you miss this one. It's tomorrow, 9 to 1 on Dwarder Road, Riruta. Okay, so today, let me show you guys what we'll be up to. So this is what we're doing today. We're doing stenciling. I know that lots of us have seen maybe stencils. You may have used them or not used them. Um, they look something like this, especially when it comes to cake decoration. Um, so you can buy sets of them or maybe a small one, something like this. Patterns, names, silhouettes, something like that. So yeah, so that's what I wanted to cover today. So I want to show you three ways to use a stencil uh, on your cake decoration okay so on these stencils you can use them on fondant mostly like 90% of the time um, you can use them on like really smooth buttercream also or really smooth royal icing as well so yeah feel free just make sure it's not like really creamy you can't use non dairy cream topping unless you're like holding it up it's really really a lot of stress but you can do it if you you know manage so yeah, I'll be showing you on fondant today. And um, just I've done just little fondant boards so you can be able to um, practice on. Um, so that's what I'll be using. But like I said, really smooth um, sort of set buttercream or royal icing that has set works as well. Anybody joining us, say hi. Anyone joining us, Ellie? Belinda Markinan says hi. Oh, hi Belinda. Thanks for joining me. Belinda's a bakerette based in Thika. Thank you. Um, so as you join us say hi so now these stencils i'll be using on fondant like i said you can use it on different um, mediums so i'll be showing you with three mediums royal icing airbrush and um, just plain old gel color and you can use either of those okay to do your stencils now the thing about stencils that's going to be really tricky uh, it'll be easy for me because i'll be doing it on a board but I want you to know that when you're doing on a cake that's round or square, it's really, really, really a lot of stress. So one of the tips or tricks you want to learn, if you're using um, royal icing or you're using the color, you want this to really stick on your cake, okay? Like really, really stick on your cake like this completely. So sometimes you can take like some shortening or some margarine and you apply like a thin layer on your cake and then you put this it'll really stick okay the other thing to make sure is you to know there's like little holes over here you can see them these little holes are what are gonna hold your stencil in place so if you've maybe taken it around the cake you can use a pin okay, to hold that in place or maybe you can use what can we use Maybe like masking tape, but if there's oil on that cake, just let me just let me tell you people, it won't be so easy. So pin usually works, okay? Or masking tape. I've actually used masking tape before. Try a floral tape if you want as well. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get right into it. Anybody else joining us? Miami Mathondu says tuned. Mathondu, Mathondu. Miami. Oh Mathondu. Miami. Hi Miami. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. So now I'm gonna start with like, you know, what I'd say is the slightly tricky one. So I'm gonna have to zoom in here, Ellie. So we're doing down here. I have used some masking tape, guys, to just kind of stick this in place. And sometimes I'll use a toothpick to hold it because, you know, it tends to just kind of get issues. And what I wanna do is use color. So today I'll be using some yellow color right here. Um, and a little brush, okay, to just kind of do this. And literally, I don't dilute this. I use it as it is, guys. So just to give you an example, I just kind of brush like so. So just brush. You want to make sure your stencil, it's like stenciling for real. If there's any of you who do stenciling, 
you really don't want your stencil or your frame thing or your design thing to move a lot because if it moves you know you won't get the shape you're looking for or the pattern you're looking for so i'm just gonna do the rose part and i know this is just hilarious because i'm doing a rose in yellow but that's how we gonna do this today yellow rose okay see how much we can get there so just get most of what you can get hold it down if you need to and all right so i think that i've gotten most of the rows i can now take it out so you guys can see how it looks like and voila there we go there's our rows Woohoo! check it out i hope you guys can see it i know that's a yellow which is a bit odd but Okay, I'm going to place this up on here so we can take a look at it as I prepare for my next stencil situation. So I'm just going to masking tape this again. Like I told you guys, use masking tape. Use a pin if you're on a cake to just kind of stick everything in place. Okay, so I'm doing a patterned one this time to something, you know, different. Like that. So like I said, guys, pin the stencil on your cake if you're not airbrushing you can apply some uh, shortening on there and then just kind of straighten it so you make sure it's like really really stuck right so that it doesn't move around so make sure it's real 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 nice and stuck okay so i'm just making sure this is taut but it doesn't move around it's moving around a little bit so here we go okay so when i start i will not move it now I'm going to show you how to do this with royal icing. So, I have some orange, orange royal icing up in here. And once I'm confident like now, I'm going to apply my royal icing everywhere. Okay, hope this works. I'm going to take a scraper. And remove excess. Here it again. Okay, so try and get as excess as possible. Okay, most of it to get out of there. Now we're going to give it a minute to set a little bit. And then we'll take it off from there. Alright, let me see if I can add a little bit. I don't like how it looks like over here. And scrape. By the way, be careful. There's parts that come out like this one right here. If you're not careful of your stencil, it'll come off. So I'm going to leave that for a second. As I show you this last one so you can set just a little bit. Now you can make your own stencils if you do not have a stencil. So I'm just going to show you one with airbrush that we have made. Okay. So we were trying to do the Amari name right here. Let's hope this comes out nicely. So I'm going to do this stencil on here. Okay. So I think we'll move it closer to you guys over here. And I'm going to load an airbrush. So. Let me first show you guys the whole airbrush thing for you guys who may not know how to use one or may want to know maybe Ellie can zoom in on the airbrush. So this is the airbrush. It usually comes with like the thing to plug in, the power, a pump, a pipe, and then this pen. Okay, so this is the magical part. So this is PME, but you can get others. There's many others. You can get them from TopServe. And so this little area here is where you put your ink. And so you buy airbrush ink, shake it up a little bit. Sometimes it tends to settle. And then you put your airbrush liquid in there, like so. And then you close this back up. So I have a really faded, shiny one. It's the one that kind of gives you a pearl luster, but it works as well. It still does it. So we're going to do that. We're going to try with the dots first, actually. So all you do, you pull this lever back and forth 
right so the more you pull it back the more it sprays so you want to keep it in the middle don't spray so much and then you put on your airbrush and you're ready to go okay so i'm gonna do that right now so should i do it on this up here all right so i'm gonna place this so you guys can see better here let's start with the dots i'm gonna put this on it makes that noise sometimes i use a toothpick like this to hold this here okay so i'm just gonna spray Right, simple like that so if you guys can see it leaves whatever impression it is on there right I better get some love bubbles on that please okay so we're gonna try this name we used it again so might not come out so nice and boring and try it anyway so put your stencil so you might need like a small toothpick or like a small skewer to hold it down so that's what I'm gonna use so once again, I'm going to hold it down as much as possible. Sometimes I even hold it with my fingers. And I'll put this on. Okay, so. There we go. It's a homemade stencil, so don't judge. But at least you can see Amari written on there, can't we? Right, Ellie? Yep, yep. Awesome. So, step number two. Sorry, guys. So, I'm removing this, and I want to show you. There is our royal icing stencil. So, you let it set a little bit, and then you pull off the stencil, and you're able to get that shape or design. Okay? Any comments? No? All right, guys. Well, when you join me later, please make sure to comment, ask any questions you want, and I'll make sure to answer them on the comment section. So, to recap what we did, so I was teaching you guys how to use stencils, so basically stencils like these, or like some that have roses, like these, or if you have homemade stencils yourself, you can just cut out stencils and have shapes on them, okay? So usually the best medium to use is fondant, as you can see this is fondant on a board, um, but you can use it on really set buttercream that's really smoothened or royal icing that has really, really set. Not so good on the cream or puratos or the fresh cream. So we used over here, we just used regular gel color. I just pour like two or three drops of gel color somewhere, use a brush and I paint it on there. Just make sure it's really, really tight and set on your little surface. So gel color. So the second one I used was royal icing. So if you know how to make royal icing, make like this sort of medium consistency. Yeah, thick, but not too thick. And then you place your stencil on there. Make sure it's tight. If you have to put masking tape, if it's on a cake, put a pin. And then you apply royal icing and you scrape and leave it a little bit to set. I actually could have waited a little longer. It's just we don't have enough time. I wait a little longer, like 30 minutes. And then I peel it off. It has set a little bit. Okay, so royal icing is your second medium. Then airbrush, okay? So an airbrush is so easy. You just have to be careful that you hold down your stencil. If you have to use a toothpick, your hand, just kind of hold down your stencil so it doesn't move around. And that one, don't put oil. If you put oil first or shortening first, it'll move around or it won't stick, okay? So do that on a plain fondant. And you can do your little, you know, um, little polka dot things or your written name like Amari right there. So yeah, so three ways to do your stencils. I hope you guys have learned so much from this. And when you join us, please comment. If you're interested in the class I was talking about, about piping and writing calligraphy and like cursive. I'm doing it tomorrow. 500 shillings. Inbox me. See you guys. TGIF. Bye. Bye.